Well, here we are in beautiful Athens, Georgia, where this tree, the tree that owns itself, is located. So this man, William Jackson, had such love for this tree that he decided to set it free. He willed this tree to itself. So it owns itself. It owns itself. It has no master. Also, the eight feet around it is also owned by itself. It did actually die. The first one died, but some ladies of the Botanical Association planted a little acorn from this tree. So it is from the original stock of the original tree that owns itself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So aren't you trespassing then? Um, on, on the... let, let's just go see about this tree. Ow! Here's another oak over here. A tree which does not own itself. Excuse me. Um, so how do you feel about the tree that owns itself? I think it's really cool. And I wish that my landlord would let me free to free the trees. Free all the trees. And I really like that scene in Lord of the Rings where the trees roost. <laughs> We're really proud of the tree that owns itself and kind of hoping maybe it would spread the word to the other trees and pretty soon we'd have a revolution. There wouldn't be any more wooden houses or wooden shoes or wooden desks or pencils, paper. But you know, we'd, we'd adapt, you know, like, like what we're doing with fossil fuels. You know how all of us are riding bikes and, you know, pitching in and, so, you know, having our solar oven cookers and so forth. Oh wait, I forgot we're not actually doing that. but. Anyway, the tree that owns itself, ladies and gentlemen.